Thank you, Remarkable Royals and leadership students for sharing modern day struggles and stereotypes looking to be resolved. Now I want to share my own story. Okay, before I get started, I want to ask you guys, how many of you would want to meet Martin Luther King Jr.? Now my question to you is what would you say to him? I mean, I talk a lot, but I think I would be at a loss of words. Here you have one of the most inspirational and influential people of all times. And what are you gonna say to him? Oh, I'm not racist. I'm sure that a man who inspired millions of others, who risked his life to ensure our constitutional right that every man is created equally, wouldn't be impressed by this mere statement. I'm sure he would look you in the eyes and he would ask you, what have you done to change the world? Who have you inspired? Who have you led? What will you be remembered for? Martin Luther King Jr. said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Now my question to you is what matters to you? What matters to me is that for every 100,000 inmates, 5,000 of them are African American males. That means in the city of Kent alone, 5,000 African American males will be incarcerated in the future. So I'm pretty sure whether Kevin Durant or LeBron James is a better basketball player won't matter to you when your best friend is locked up for the next 15 years. What matters to me is that every single time I go to the airport, I get stopped for these so-called random searches. What matters to me is that my children and my children's children might encounter those weird looks I still get every 9-11. What matters to me is that some point in their life, they might hear those dreadful words, go back to your country, when America is their home. I know you guys hear this, but do you understand? Do you understand that although we complain about, my, about society, labeling minorities as unsuccessful, we sit around on Twitter all day and wonder who won the selfie Olympics. What Martin Luther King fought for has been achieved, but what we want to see changed in the world has not been changed yet. I stand in front of you today, not only for our generation, but for the generation after that. Because maybe if I speak up, if I speak up, my children won't get encounter those weird looks every 9-11. Maybe they won't get stopped every time they go to the airport. Maybe they won't come home to me one day and tell me, Mom, I got called a terrorist at school. Maybe they will finally get to feel normal in the place that they call their home. Because isn't that what they deserve for living in the land of opportunity, where every man is created equally? Our President Barack Obama said, Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. So I can sit here and tell you that not every African American male is a criminal. Not every Muslim is a terrorist. That KM is not a ghetto school. But until each and every one of you decide to break those stereotypes, to exceed the limits that society has put on you, a stereotype will exist. And I believe that is what the great rapper Tupac Shakur is telling us when he says, they are killing us one by one, one way or another. And I don't know about you, but I will not be content until every single stereotype disappears and every act of ra racism vanishes. The biggest, the biggest barrier we face today is ourselves, our mentality. So break that wall down that's enclosing you and you can make change. I challenge you today to make a difference in yourself and inspire others. Because individually we are only one drop, but together we are an ocean. I leave you with the great words of Dr. King, the time is always right to do what is right. Thank you.